Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to our 100% Iron Man playthrough here in Warlords Battle Cry 3. Now last episode I said that in this episode we'd be going to the editor to uh, improve our old, you know, grinding map, make it a make it an even better all-purpose grinding map than what we had previously. And we are going to be going into the editor in a bit, but not to create a map, but to show you the map that I made in between episodes. So, it occurred to me that making another map, or even making edits to the old map, would just take too long, and literally most of it would be just moving things a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, like minor adjustments that wouldn't really make for great viewing and like, especially since we've already built it from scratch at least once and since you already know what the basic concept is going to be so instead of doing that i'll show you what i already built and you can think of it as something like you know those uh those cooking tv shows where you know the chefs they show you their ingredients they describe the process and then magically as soon as they've they've done that, they skip straight to an already completed version of the dish. Or it cuts forward in time to when the dish is... Because like, nobody would watch a cooking show where it's literally the chef scrolling through Facebook while something sits in the oven for 45 minutes, right? So th this would have been the equivalent of that. You, you just watching me make minor like dragging things to the left and right for 45 minutes and I don't think either of us would really want a video that's starting out with that. So I'll show you the map that I made or like the better version of the map that I made and I'll point out some of the uh, key differences and some other things that I learned in between uh, my first attempt and this attempt. So the map is going to be called the Meat Grinder. I alluded to this name earlier. This is kind of the pro like my early prototype was based on the Caveman map. Before I realized you can do even better with a like a more open concept map like like this. And when I say open concept, I mean literally just open grass with just a few parts of the map where there are things on the ground. So let's start with our side of the base. We still only have three mines of each kind. The, and the point of this map isn't for us to really even build our base. So this is just as a, like in case you get bored, you can start a base, you can give yourself, like research things, just to give yourself a bit of busy work while the rest of the match is playing out. Oh, and also I've put quest buildings. Quest buildings were also a part of our old uh, map layout, but I've reduced the number of them simply because I realized you don't need 20, right? Because with 20, by the time we're halfway through, the old ones were already getting repopulated with new quests, so I think 10 is fine. It makes things a little bit less uh, cramped. And overall, it just looks better. It, le it's, it leaves you more room, number one, to move, and number two, to move any units that you might have gotten as quest rewards. And number three, it just looks looks a little bit better, I think. And also, in the old version of the map, I think I had gaps between the towers. In this version, we just have... Uh, I've put in as many towers as I could, but only one line. I could have gone really overboard and put in like multiple rows of towers. I don't think that's going to be necessary. I think this is going to be fine. One other change. My old version was... Uh, it had towers going like this. Kind of like the corner of a rectangle. And that wasn't good because then when attacks were coming directly at the corner, then that corner was a bit vulnerable because the other towers wouldn't become activated immediately. Whereas... With this layout, no matter which side enemies approach us from, they're going to have a bit of a line of towers waiting for them. 
so that's uh, kind of you know the, the rationale for changing that. Now, let's look at our opponents. Uh, one issue we had last time was green didn't have enough room, right? They were their base was getting to be within range of our towers, so I've given them a lot more room by pushing the boundary of my base way, way, way to the back. And I've also put their mines down here to give themselves just f total freedom to build. Purple is a bit more cramped as compared to blue because I didn't center this exactly. I'm not that worried about it. Um, but I put all of their mines in this layout. Oh, and also, previously I gave them five mines of each kind, a level three mines. And this improved layout they have six mines of each kind so those are just changes based on things we've already seen now let's look at changes based on things that i've learned number one so you remember in the old version we had these two sides and then every time we try to save the game it would tell us that two of the starting locations aren't defined because you know we were only using four sides and there were six sides on the map Turns out you can activate or deactivate sides by clicking on this this thing. So I've deactivated what would have been these two sides. Just to make sure we don't get any errors while saving. And these are our start locations, obviously. Also, for our sides, I've made it so that it recognizes that this first side has to be human and must be, must be used, which will mean it will come pre-populated when we select this map from the skirmish menu. Similarly for these two, I've made them barbarian, but it's not locked. We can change it, but it'll pre-populate them as barbarian and as very high resources and importantly as part of a team. So you'll notice all of these have the same team symbol, which means they're on the same team, and we're not on any team, so they're gonna be on a team against us. All right, so there's that dealt with. One other thing is you can change, okay, you can change the rules of the map. The only thing I've done is I've made it so that we have exposed map, no fog of war, but you can do other rules. For instance, I could do tough towers, but I'm not going to do any rules inside the campaign, sorry, inside this, inside this, uh, you know, the editor, because I feel, like I feel, like in my testing, it seemed like sometimes I was causing strange things to happen. Like the rules weren't always working the way I expected them to. So we'll manually set our rules when we go into the map. Basically all we will want to do is select tough towers and also no towers and then tough starting towers. Is there anything else to talk about? I don't think so. Anything in features? No, I, I think these are just like cosmetic things we can put on the map. I think that's enough of that. Let's exit the menu. And now, finally, we're going to take this improved version of this map out for a test drive. Ooh, and I just realized, I didn't show you... I didn't show you uh, my hero. So, belatedly, <laughs> here's my hero. Last episode, we got one more rank in uh, the spells cast category by going above 2500 for spells cast. And I think that's the only thing we gained. This episode, who knows? Let's see, let's see what we gain and let's do that by going into the meat grinder. And as you can see, it was taking a bit of time, but the only thing I've locked is that this first one has to be me. Right, I don't want to make the mistake of being one of the others. Oh, I and I especially don't want to make the mistake of being one of the others, and then 
one of the others having my tough towers and then through some comedy of errors getting my hero killed. So we especially don't want that. Right. Now this is all pre-populated, the uh, tedious stuff of selecting, you know, first that the enemy is being played in the map and then their race and then their resources. The only thing we'll have to manually do is we'll have to manually select the level of AI. Supposedly there's a way to do it in the editor, but I feel like that option didn't translate into this screen. The other thing we'll want to do is we'll want to select tough towers, no towers, and tough starting towers. The other thing we'll want to do is we'll also and this is just based on the level of progress that I am at right now. Depending on your level of progress, you might not want to do this. I'm also going to select no dragons because we also, in our last grinding episode, we hit our limit for, uh, for, we hit our limit for, uh, the titles of, uh, excuse me, let me actually just take a look at my thing. So we hit our maximum rank for dragons killed. We didn't hit our maximum rank for quests completed. So we're gonna try and get to 600. So we need 75, 75 quests. 75 quests. And, okay, and now let's go back into the skirmish. Yeah, it's really convenient for it to pre-populate all of this because it saves you a lot of time and a lot and a lot of clicking. Tough starting towers, n tough towers, and no towers. Tough towers will this will mean the towers that are already on the map will be tough, but then nobody can build any more. And because our opponents never got any towers to begin with, they will never have towers. They will never benefit from tough towers. It just makes the map easier to, to deal with. And no dragons as well, I think, should help them send more units at us overall, because dragons are very expensive units. The reason I'm selecting no dragons isn't because I'm scared of dragons. I, I love fighting dragons. It's because the whole point of this exercise is to grind large numbers of kills. And if them building a dragon is taking the place of potentially 20 other of some different unit that they could send. For In terms of enemies killed, a dragon still counts as one kill. Whereas, you know, like some crappy like, goblin counts equally as a dragon in terms of your overall kills. So I'm hoping that this will mean that they'll send more against us overall. Okay, now with all of that, I think finally we're ready to go. Oh god, I feel like... I feel uh, there's so many things to check. I feel like I'm you know, like a like a pilot in the cockpit of a plane, you know, just checking all the instruments, making sure we're ready to take off, but not feeling very confident and feeling like we're probably going to crash. Okay, that got pretty grim pretty quickly, so let's let's not <laughs> dwell on that analogy too long. Let's just move on, and let's just hope that uh, everything is good. Everything looks good. Let's just jump in. Ooh. Um, one thing we'll do, I guess we'll wait until we're in-game, is we'll set our keys, take a look at our towers, confirm that they are tough, raise the game speed to very fast, and wonder why we're not why why we're not hearing the sounds, but now we are. Now we are. All right, let's let's start building up our base. I guess they're building up there. They're building up there. You're building up here. Everybody has room. Everybody has space. You're already summoning extra things, which is. As long as you don't get yourself killed, that's gonna run up our score even more. 
you're a merchant, which is great. As long as you don't get killed, I mean, you can be more efficient. You're also a merchant. Very, very good. Happy with that. Let's go to palace level two. And you know what? Let's start getting some quests done as well. So, 800 gold is so much, but I'll do it. So, one quest done. We're not kill we don't want to kill enemy heroes, even though they'll probably get themselves killed anyway. No, don't, don't, don't do that. Is this stuck on the enemy hero thing? I think it might. I think it might be stuck on that. Away! Oh, why is this one selected? Hang on, let me save it as my hero selected. You know what? Let's get our economy going a little bit before we uh, start doing quests. Let's get our economy going a little. Let's get a granary. Get our income bonus. Let's get to palace level three. Why do we want level three? No, oh, no, we don't want level three. Let's. Ah, I guess we do. I guess we do. Because it'll raise our cap of resources. Uh, let's get a quartermaster as well. We'll get to trade. And then now our resources are a bit more uh, flexible in terms of what we can do with, with them. Alright. I mean, we need this as well, but we should soon be getting it. There we go. Now we kind of have full freedom. I wish I hadn't built this here because it's kind of in the way. But you know what? Not a lot we can do. Quest received. Sure, let's get that. Uh, you know what? Don't quite have room there. Let's build here, I guess. We can start improving our income a little bit. Research complete. The massacre has begun. And you'll see why I've chosen to call this the meat grinder once they start sending large numbers of units. You kind of saw this in the previous iteration of this map, but it will really be even more pronounced now that we have a proper line of towers. Alright, let's finish this. We're just gonna put people inside towers. Just cause they'll be out of the way. Build or convert a new library. Can we build a library right now? No, we can't, so fuck off. So fuck off is my reply. Don't give me a Oh. We're going through this again, man. I'll be I'll be happy when we don't have to do quests anymore. We can kill a dozen enemies. All right, so we needed to do seventy-five quests, right? So so that means seven cycles of this plus this. Plus then a half cycle of something. I don't want to put these guys inside the tower because that's just gonna change the type of projectile they shoot and their type isn't gonna be as effective. Again, just go inside the towers. And I'll just have my guys stand on the outside like this. Quest 
That was nice and easy. I'm not gonna attack enemy buildings, so don't even bother me with that nonsense. Yeah, we can kill six enemies. In fact, I think we're already doubled that. You know what, let's go to level four. I'm not gonna be attacking enemy heroes, and I would Advise them not to attack me. You don't mess with me, I don't mess with you. Is, you know, my policy when it comes to their heroes. The rest of your units, yes. Mess with me all to your heart's content. But please, for everybody's sake, keep your hero alive. Okay. Oh, it, one thing is that if a mine is inaccessible, so if a mine is accessible like this one, the guy will walk all over it. But if you send them to an inaccessible mine, they kind of teleport inside of it. Uh, maybe we need to send some guys to the to the south to shore up that. Building a little. I'll send them inside that. Your troops are under attack. No. Did I? I don't know if I. Oh, I I, I did save it. That's good. No, 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 no. We're not killing heroes. So don't don't even don't even your troops are under attack. You're not converting enemy buildings. Don't even do that to me, man. Come on. Please. Oh god. All of the possible things we could be doing. I mean, like resources or killing enemy units. Man, are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Are you... <sighs> I'm not amused, man. Come on. Your troops are under attack. Quest Finally. Oh, you idiot! Why? Why would you... Oh, fucking moron. Okay, so we've done one round. We need to do seven rounds and then five more quests. Yeah, if only they could all be that easy. Yeah, like, like this? Exactly like this. Your troops are under attack. You can kill 16. I think that was my Earth Elemental who kind of just held those guys up quite heroically. Alright. Reaver. Stone Golems. Excuse me? What, do you say, what am I low on? I don't know. Crystal, I guess. I don't want to destroy enemy buildings. Did I save? Did I save? I hope I saved. I did save. Alright. 
Your troops are under attack. Oh my god. Is there a bit of a gap here? Do all the towers have gaps between them? The buildings are available. I think there's a bit of a gap here. Anyway, uh, Quest do that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't want to destroy buildings. Body of a hero is something I'd rather not do. I don't want to destroy buildings. We just, we just, we just went over this. Man, you're really testing my patience here. Yeah, we can kill six enemies. In fact, I think we already have. Nope, almost. We can kill twelve enemies. One interesting thing will be, okay, yeah, our enemies, even though they can't build dragons, will nonetheless still build level 3 uh, Ares. I mean, I guess the, the, only, the only other reason to build an Eerie and upgrade it, well, to upgrade an Eerie to level 3 would be if you really wanted the extra HP on the building. Quest received. Okay. okay. These guys are gonna stand here as a bit of a distraction. On um, yeah, there is a bit of a, a bit of a hole in our defenses. Yeah, okay, they've got titans. I'm actually okay with that, to be perfectly honest. Can kill eight enemies, sure. Again, stand ground mode, because I don't want them to wander too close. Titan number two. Beware. A titan, titan number three. Excuse me? Didn't I? Did I not select no dragons? Ooh. Hang on. Let me do try something. If I load the game, it should tell us the special rules, right? Did. Am I hallucinating? Maybe next time I'll have to do no Eeries, but I mean, I don't want to do that because one big source of kills is when they, uh... Yeah, I think we can stop producing you guys. One really major source of kills is when they send, you know, like, lots of eagles at you. Exactly like that. Huh. So I guess no dragons is another thing that's perhaps kind of bugged. Unfortunate. I don't want to kill heroes. Excuse me, what? What was this? Slay a demon? Is, is there a demon coming? There is a demon coming. Did that count? It did count. Okay. Well, we got lucky. I don't want to destroy buildings. Come on. This is our, uh, our third cycle through these ten quest buildings. Man, come on. I'm gonna be so happy once once we're done. Are we, are we stuck on this now? 
I'm gonna be so happy when we're done grinding quests. Fucking hell, man. Come on. Yeah, we can kill 20 enemies reasonably easily. What? Okay, the buildings are damaged because we killed their titan. Must have been very close to their base. Must have been very close to their base. And that was a good amount of kills. So... Another one of them stupidly got themselves killed. Ooh, but... Everything's gonna be on fire soon. So I guess we should have somebody stand out here. And, ooh, no, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back. All of their heroes have now gotten themselves killed. Which is pretty sad. That's good. This is good, because we should be able to do this very quickly. Ah, uh, we're done, right? Yeah. Having guys stand outside as an extra dis distraction, I think, is working out really nicely. Man, come on. We can kill six enemies. In fact, we already have. The downside to there being a hole is our hero will constantly be wanting to go outside. And I don't want him to. Quest received. We're on our third cycle, right? How did you get damaged? It must have been from a titan getting killed. Quest Stand around there. Quest received. Twelve enemies, are they dead? Yes, they are. Stand ground. Your troops are under How attack. is this building getting so damaged? Did something else explode on it? I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. No, we're not converting. Oh Jesus, come on. Are we... Oh, we're not stuck on that. There we go. Your troops are under attack. What I'm gonna start doing, I'm gonna start killing things that we get as quest rewards. It's because I can't be bothered to do this whole song and dance of sending them outside. I, I guess we'll keep a Naga because ranged units are, are, are nice to have, you know, on stand ground. 
Alright. We kill 13 enemies. And I think we already have. Yes, we have. Can stand ground. Go there. No, not this. Yeah, we can do this. Your troops are under attack. Your base is under siege. Let's slow repair that. This is getting repaired, it seems. It's gained some of its health. What was that? Oh, 73. 73 of 12. Oh, our own units are attacking this for some reason. Why? Yes, see, see, she, she attacked this. Why? Something about being on stand ground mode must be causing that. That's very bizarre. Yet another bug in this old, old game. Your troops are under attack. All right. I think this is our fourth. West, your buildings are under attack. Apologies if the frame rate is uh, a little low. I think it's because of just how many units there are on the map, including these units that aren't going anywhere. And all of our units that we're getting for, as you know, quest, quest rewards. Do you have a quest right now? <laughs> 87 of 8. Yeah, I need to. I need to be on top of this. Your base is under siege. Your buildings are under attack. I need to be on top of this stuff. Alright. I think we've done 40 quests. Your troops are under attack. May I, sir? My sword is justice. No, not converting. Oh god. Uh, it's gonna be another uh, huge crowd that we're gonna assemble. Your troops are under attack. Alright, let's keep going. Yet another Archon. Wonderful. Your troops are under attack. Right, we, we should be able to kill 20 enemies pretty, pretty easily. In fact, are we already there? We are indeed already there. Your troops are under attack. Did we get the Naga killed? I think we got the Naga killed. I was gonna send her to the to the front. Your buildings are I, under I don't want to convert. Come on. Eight enemies should be easy.
And like, are we already at eight? Yes, we are. Wonderful. Flying units are easy to reposition for obvious reasons. Your buildings are under attack. Yeah, we killed twenty enemies. In fact, this group is gonna have. I, I, oh, come on, stay still. Alright. Oh, did we not do this one? Okay, this time I'm gonna kill these guys. Because there's just too damn many of them. Your troops are under attack. You know what? It's, it's too many to even kill. So just... Just go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get, killed, by, get killed by these guys. Your buildings are under attack. Your troops are under attack. So I think we've done 50 quests. Swamp is there a swamp dragon incoming? Not quickly enough. Oh my god, stay still. My hero is being too eager to join the action. Your troops are under attack. White mages are nice. We'll actually keep them inside the base. Just because we might want to heal somebody at some point. Oh god, 12 goblins, why? Your base is under siege. Your troops are under attack. Go now. 20 enemies would have been nice to have when that big attack was coming. But I guess we'll get 20 enemies pretty soon, regardless. Oh, Stay. I oh, God. Okay. I'm gonna change you to stand ground, just because I don't want you doing something dumb. I don't want you doing something dumb. Is that one done? You see, 10 quest buildings is more than enough. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait a little bit, but. Ultimately, it's not that bad. Are under attack. Your troops are under attack. And if you're building a map like this, you can decide for yourself how many quest buildings you want. Like, maybe 10 is a little bit too low of a number. Maybe 15 would be the magic number. Maybe 14, 12 even. Wow, where are we at? Are we at 60 or 70 right now? We're at on at least 60. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna assume we're at 60, just because I don't want to jump the gun. Oh, we need to get these guys killed. We need to put them on stand ground because otherwise, they're they're annoying. Uh, my faith is my shield. You know, their cowardly disposition. They'll scatter all over the map. Very good. 
disappointed that they're building dragons despite us specifically putting in a rule that they couldn't. So clearly that rule is bugged. Alright, let's now get ready to do these ones. We'll have to wait a little bit. Nothing's on fire, nothing's on fire. Nothing's on fire, everything's good. If we notice any of our towers, you know, getting really low on health, we will of course repair them. Let's get this. I just don't want to convert buildings. I just have told you that multiple times, game. Why won't you listen to me? Okay. Is that one done? This one done. Let's send these guys down here. Our hero, of course, stays inside our base. I just... I'm not converting buildings. You can't make me. What did I just tell you? What did I just tell you? That's good. Oh my god, too many... Too many goblins. Too many gob too many gobbos. Yeah. Some of them are stuck because my hero's in the way. Alright, now I think we only need to do five more quests. But I'm gonna do 10 more just to be on the very, very safe side. Yes. And you know what? Troops are yes. under attack. Let's send two Archons Away. there. Away. Two Archons here. Oh, oh, oh. Easy, easy. At, at ten more quests. Another Archon? Why not? <laughs> Three more gazers, sure. Your troops are under attack. Uh, we're not converting buildings. I uh, we just we just went over this. Maybe we can kill a dozen enemies. In fact, I think we might already be close. <laughs> In fact, we're already over it. Uh, this is a good spot for ranged troops to stand. Your troops are under attack. And we're not destroying buildings. We're letting them keep you know the fruits of everything they've built. Quest complete. I sent two more white mages. It's pretty good. Quest received. Sixteen foes should be doable. In fact, we're already at 15. And that has brought another Reaver into our party. And now these quests are all lit up. And, I, and we're going to stop doing quests after this. Not destroying buildings. We, we've been over this. Okay. 
come on. No, we can kill 20 enemies. In fact, we're already at that end. Has something killed the sound effect? Sound, sound effects seem to be bugging out a little bit. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not hearing any sounds. For pretty much anything. For pretty much anything. I'm not sure what to make of this other than to say that the sounds in this game are extremely buggy yeah so, so the sounds in this game are pretty much dead and I, I yeah that's gonna suck because we're gonna play the rest of this match without any sound but really we were only going to be playing this match until our opponents run out of gold and metal. Because at that point, they pretty much stop producing anything. And they're not far... See, they don't have that much gold left. We just have to... I guess periodically encourage them to send more things in, but we don't really even need to do that, because they're sending stuff without too much of a... without too much of a... a need for prompting from our side. So we're just gonna watch this relatively unfortunately silent encounter. I'm, I'm pretty sure the reason that we lost sound had to do with loading the game. Something about loading the game seems to introduce all kinds of glitches. And in this case, the glitch meant that we uh, eventually irretrievably lost the sound effects. That's unfortunate. Actually, hmm. I also don't want to quit and load the game because I I don't want to quit because that can cause other issues like with the game crashing and stuff. Let's just ride it out like this. We are pretty close to them exhausting their gold. And and then at that point, we'll see how they are with regards to their other resources. Yeah. <laughs> They're pretty close to finishing it. Where's our hero? What are you doing? Why are you... Oh, idiot. Did you get hit by... Swamp Dragons? Did you lose armor? I don't know if you did. But if you did, then that would mean for the re rest of this map... Rest of this map... You're at a bit of an armor penalty. You know what, let's... Get some of these uh, upgrades. And let's keep an eye on our guys. Yep, they're all ready. A lot of their mines are below a thousand. I, 
At least we still have music. At least there's that. At least there is that. Unfortunately, they're wasting a lot of their resources building dragons. And if they're putting that money instead into other kinds of units, we could have been getting a lot more kills, a lot, m many more kills, out of this map. And look, this mine is about to run dry. Yep, there it goes. There that one goes. And like dominoes basically, they're all gonna fall in this sequence because they probably started stacking them with the civilians like this one first then this one this this one and their ore mines are also now starting to go except their ore mines are following a slightly different sequence compared to the uh, the others So your armor was 72, and it's plus 5, it's 77 after armor. Yeah, I'm curious to see if we lost armor. The only way we could check that is by playing a different map, like maybe a... Uh, a joust. We'll do a joust at the end of this. We usually do a joust at the beginning, but this time we'll do a joust at the end. How's your thing going? You have also completely run out of gold. You guys have all completely run out of gold. And at this point we should see a drastic slowdown in uh, the... I don't know what happened here. We should see a drastic slowdown in the uh, speed with which they send units in our direction. Okay, hang on. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's encourage them to... Why didn't those dragons... And those dragons continue. Let's let's try this again. All right. Let's send this eye out here. To try and encourage these guys to come out. And here are a bunch of uh, eagles. I thought they were in that weird, you know, backwards and forwards patrol pattern. But no, it looks like they are coming at us. Wonderful. Yeah, and now these guys are starting to run very low on metal. Very low indeed. Once they're out of metal is, I think, when we can expect this entire scheme to come to a halt. Gotta love just them coming at the edge of our defenses and then just all dying. You can see why I call this the meat grinder. Because it's, uh, it's just like, I mean like, you know, when you're making ground beef, I guess, it doesn't really matter what the meat looks like when it's going in, because it all looks the same when it's coming out. 
Similarly, it doesn't matter what they send us, they all get turned into blood and bones and bits of flesh strewn across the battlefield. Well, specifically strewn right in front of our viciously strong towers. And yeah, looks like these guys are uh, definitely slowing down. Do you have any quick ground-based units? I guess these guys are the quickest. I want to get the attention of uh, these guys. Yeah, and the entire thing is going to come. That's great. That's great. The entire army is going to come. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, it's looking like they're pretty much done. They're ready to call it call it a day. So let's do some final bits of wrap up and this business of uh, going in, attracting their attention, and coming out is so much easier when the enemy doesn't have towers. Alright. Alright, yeah, let's get this thing killed as well. And then, let's convince these guys that good things are to be had up towards the north if you don't get killed, which you did, so that sucks. Um, maybe one of these guys. Come on. Come, okay. These critical hits aren't helping. Don't die, don't die, not before. There we go, wonderful. Wonderful. And, and didn't purple have a big group as well? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You know what? I think it's time to send our hero out. And we'll go back on defensive. The only reason I'm sending my hero out is to farm some spells. So these guys are obviously done. I mean, they're still getting some metal, but I think their income has taken a hit to the point where they can no longer afford to send armies against us. So at this point the only thing left for us to do is to just squeeze whatever is left to get out of them and really the only thing left to get out of them is some spells. And hopefully we can get a good amount of those. So far it's a good start but with spells it's pretty much random. At least with the way I'm doing spells, which is uh, the only spells I'm casting are ones that have a percentage chance to happen based on something that I have equipped. Yeah, see, he doesn't even have enough money to build what he was wanting to build over there. These guys are done. They're so done. Each spell that we cast brings us closer to getting that fully leveled up. We need to be a little bit careful because uh, these guys are 
coming at us with a sizable force. And if they land a bunch of critical hits on us in a row, then it could be bad. But it's... It's fine. Yeah, again, sorry for the lack of sound, it's just not, uh, yeah, I don't know why that happened. But hopefully it should stop happening, because the next time we do a grind fest like this, we're not going to be loading our game, because we're hopefully going to be permanently done with quests. We'll find out for sure once we get to the end screen. Also, let's take a look. 92? Oh, okay, because we got stone skin as well. We've got to wait for stone skin to expire and then subtract 10 to see what our armor is at. I'm not going to bother attacking mines. Come on. It doesn't matter what the spell is. It doesn't matter whether it's doing anything useful for us. They all get counted in the final statistics. These guys also have a handful of combat units, but not that many. One enemy in eliminated. Come on. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, fine. Let's fight these guys now. Why not? Ooh, that's a lot of reavers. That's a lot of reavers. Oh my god, uh, I, I, yeah, I knew this was a bad idea. Look at all these reavers, man. It's ludicrous. Don't, don't be an idiot. Get some healing. There we go. Fully healed up. Ready to wreck some more havoc. Where the fuck did you come from? Alright. And these guys shouldn't be too much of an issue. I think they also wanted this eagle to build something, but they are also out of resources. Alright, let's carry on. And take you down as well. Okay, all good. All very good. One by one we take down these, yeah, sometimes, you know, you know how RNG works. Sometimes we'll go a while without getting a spell cast. Other times we'll get a whole cluster of them.
Okay. And you guys have a smaller, more manageable number of reavers. Which is good. I think that's the end of that opponent. Indeed. Indeed, twas the end. Alright, let's be careful again, because there are reavers. I think we've killed the problematic units. There we go. still under the effects of stone skin. Before we end this match, I will let stone skin expire just to see what our armor is at with that. And then I'll go into a ja actually no, that's not going to work cuz the uh... we'll go into a skirmish, but we won't build anything. All we'll do is we'll check to see if our armor is different. Okay, so we're gonna have to do that before we finish this guy off. So let's actually retreat for a while and we'll know when stone skin has expired because right now our hero has a bit of a gray tint to him. It will have expired when this turns back to his ordinary colors. I'm going to raise the game speed while that's happening. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a way to re-enable that. And as I suspected, our armor is at 82. Except it's really 72 because we have plus 10 from this. And we just got stone skin again, so it's gone back to 92. Alright, alright. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Almost ready to end this match. Almost. Just a few more spells to hopefully farm out of this corner of the map. Alright. Alright. Okay. Lovely. Bonk. You're dead. And you're gone. And now hopefully we get another couple of spells out of these. Nothing out of you. Nothing out of you. Nothing out of you. Well, it's a victory. 5,000. That isn't that many more than the previous one. A, a big part of that is they were building so many dragons, and I thought we'd put an end to that. Hmm. 
I may have to make some adjustments to this map in between this episode and the next, but for now, let's just leave it at this. 5,000 is still a very good amount of enemies to have. How many spells did we cast? 69. Nice. And overall kills is 5,000. Our hero himself killed 80. That's decent, I guess. All of our retinue units are fine because we didn't even bring any of them into this uh, match. All right now, let's do a skirmish. Just a random skirmish against a squire opponent. It, it doesn't really matter what we have. Random, random, sure, because all I want to do is look at what my armor is at. 72 seems to be what we are at. Okay. Let's resign this because I'm not going to bother doing anything. And I said we'd do a joust as well. And we're going to do this joust before we do any... Uh, before we close out this episode, before we take a look at our stats. Yeah, it seems like sound effects are bugged. Or are they? Maybe they're going to be back now. Ranger, Priest, Alchemist. So we'll kill them in this order. Oh, sound effects are back. We just had to end that battle. Well, that's a relief. The game isn't permanently broken, at least. Oh, I should have seen what items the heroes dropped in that skirmish. Ooh, you got critically hit badly by one of these dudes. What is this? And what's this? Is there only two, only a couple of units left? Nothing exciting. This looks pretty interesting. What's this? The frozen needle. Eh. Not, not that exciting in the end. This is interesting. Redemption. Uh, sorry, Purify. Chance of casting that. And ice. It's not too bad. Obviously nothing's going to be better than Vorpal Sword. Right. Nothing. Another five spells for us. And while we're still in the campaign, let's take a look at our hero information screen. Look at our... Armor. So... Armor bonus of 17. And we have 72. So sometimes, somehow we have 55 armor. So where are we getting armor from? 25... 30. 25, 30... 45, 50, right? So 25 plus 5 is 30, plus 15 is 45, or, or this plus this is 20, this plus this is 30, means this ensemble is 50. Nothing from that, nothing from this, nothing from that. So 50 armor from that. And then on top of that, we got plus 17. We should have 67, but then something is giving us plus 5 armor? Is it one of our bonuses? Plus 10 armor. 
Oh, but this wasn't in the in the skirmish. I don't know, something... Oh, maybe if you're a hero, you just start with a flat 5 armor. Let's... Let's assume that maybe that's the case. In fact, let's, let's actually just test that. Let's create a new hero. Um... Uh, yeah, I'm sorry we're going down this weird rabbit hole, but let's go the... Not a bard, let's go with... Barbarian? No, let's go with... Fae? A demon? Something with low dexterity. What has low dexterity? What cl class has low dexterity? Dexterity of five. Okay, dwarf has a dexterity of two. And then let's pick a class that lowers his dexterity even more. Obviously not assassin. Chieftain, no. Death Knight, maybe? Defiler? No. Paladin? <laughs> With a dexterity of 1. Okay, let's give him Paladin, a dexterity of 1. Give him a garbage name. Sorry, I, I, I just want... It was on... Oh! We don't want to be in the campaign, we want to be in the skirmish. And let's just do a random... Yeah, and let's go inside, and let's see what his armor level is at. You see, he already has 10 armor, despite only having 1 dexterity. And if we go into the campaign... Which is going to give us a more, uh... Yeah, see, 10 armor despite ostensibly having 0 armor. So... This, uh... It, it does seem like you start with some armor already for free, I guess, as a hero. Anyway, that, that that's just something I was curious about. We can now get rid of you. And we'll stick with you. We'll stick with you. All right, now after... Are you serious, man? We're not done with quests. Are you fucking kidding me? I was so looking forward to... I guess we're gonna have to do this again. We did cross 600. But this is... Quite... <laughs> quite a disappointment. We got another 5,000 kills which took us past 30,000, but we're gonna need a hell of a lot more, so th this is not even... not even, uh... getting close to scratching the surface there. We're killing tons of dragons even though we don't really need to. We're gonna have to do even more quests, but that's okay. We're in it for the long haul. We'll do another, uh... a grindy mission next time. For now, let's just... Let's just call it good. Let's just, uh... We tried our best. We didn't get a rank up in anything, but we made a lot of progress. We got a lot of quests completed at any rate. We got a bunch of spells cast as well. 
And we're getting closer and closer towards the end. But yes, that is going to be all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it got weird in the end. Like, it's a weird thing in general, these grinding episodes. But it got even weirder when we lost the sound for a while. And then it got even weirder while I was trying to figure out what happens with the... Uh, like, how hero armor works and where our extra armor seemingly was coming from. But then, of course, eventually we kind of got a resolution to all of those things. And yeah, that's it. We're done for now. When we come back, we're not going to be grinding any more of this. We're going to be playing another proper match. I haven't decided exactly what we're going to do, but it'll be a fun one and it'll be a more conventional map. And even if we aren't making grinding progress in that one, it'll still be something fun to do that'll prevent this from becoming one monotonous grind fest. But anyway, that is going to be all for this episode. Hope you had a good time, hope you enjoyed yourself, and I hope you'll join me for the next one as well. And until then, take care.